of the country. Dr. Beverly Wright is the head of the Deep South Center for Environmental Justice, which is based here at Dillard University in New Orleans. She's the co-chair of the Sustainable Energy and Environmental Task Force for the City of New Orleans, and she also advises the Gulf Coast Fund. Dr. Wright, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. Um, while I have been down here, one of the things that keeps coming up, uh, and comes up in unexpected ways, is this issue about the oil drilling moratorium. There's lots of rumors that with President Obama coming here this weekend, he's going to make some sort of announcement about the moratorium. I think they are just rumors. I've been trying to confirm them all day. A lot of people keep volunteering to me as I'm talking to them, even about other things, that they want that moratorium lifted. Is it, is it a very controversial, sort of close to the surface issue here? Um, I believe that uh, the idea of lifting the moratorium um, is one that a lot of people here embrace. But the moratorium is actually a sane response to the insanity that has existed because of the, the oil spill. The problem for us is really complex, but it's also simple. We are addicted to oil. Oil is almost a drug for us. On the one hand, it is a thing that, that's poisoning the Gulf and could actually destroy our way of life. On the other hand, our economy is closely tied to that industry. So it's killing us in one hand, it's keeping us alive in another way. So people are conflicted. The oil industry, if you've ever seen a map of the different oil wells and rigs in the Gulf Coast, it almost looks like a spider web mm. with all of these connections to our coast. And it's really, really sucking the, the life out of us in the same way that you would have um, um, a, a spider web that traps you. In terms of that physical impact, that physical footprint of the oil and gas industry in the Gulf, what you mean is that we've got tons of rigs, tons of, of, of wells out there, but also the pipelines and, the, and, and all of the other things that are about moving petroleum products in the Gulf. Is that what yes, you mean? Yes, but let me, let me give you some statistics that will bring this home. All right. There are 27,000 abandoned wells in the Gulf of Mexico. There are 3,500 rigs and platforms in coastal USA. There are 79 deep well, uh, deep well, deep water wells in the Gulf of Mexico, and we have 62 inspectors for the whole United States. That means that every inspector Out, would have all at of least, those things that for you just all described, of those wells plus the rest of the country. That's right. How many? 62 people. 62 that people gives, whose job that is. That's right. So that gives each inspector about 56 wells a year to be responsible for. When people are fighting about this moratorium right now, this drilling moratorium, so many people are against the moratorium. They want deep water drilling to continue. They don't want any pause. They don't want anything investigated further. They want the drilling to go on because they think it's their in, in their economic interest. That's right. do, do, you, do you think that's because people don't fully understand what the moratorium is. Do you think that people think the moratorium is about stopping the entire petrochemical industry and it's not just about new deep water rigs? No, I, I, I really believe that they don't understand what it is. And for everybody that says no moratorium, I say to them, you should ask the family members of the persons who died on the rig if they would have liked to see a moratorium where that rig was inspected before they lost their, lost their loved ones. And if they say, no, it's fine, then that should be the, the voice that we should follow. When you say that um, we're addicted to oil, you're of course quoting George W. Bush. <laughs> and I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, I take that back. Well, I mean, he, that, that, it's important though that even a president like George W. Bush with all of his ties yes. to the oil industry and how friendly he was to that industry mm -hmm. and his politics overall, he, like lots of presidents, said we're addicted to oil, we need to get yeah. off oil. Yeah. Um, obviously we haven't. We haven't even made any progress toward that really um, at all. We've made very little progress toward that. But you say that you want to hear leadership from that at the state level. You yes, feel I like do. Governor Jindal's who you want to hear that from. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have been trying very hard to figure out what our governor is doing to respond to this issue. Yeah. The only thing that I've heard is complaints about the federal government and building berms and booms. That's all I've heard, a reaction to the Gulf uh, spill. Um, I, I have not seen, for example, a blue ribbon panel brought to deal with economic diversity. Mm. I've not heard any discussions about really moving us into this new alternative energy um, 
economy, you know, where we are absolutely trying to develop training tracks for our people to move into these new industries mm -hmm. and then to attract new industry here. We just got wonderful news that a windmill uh, manufacturing company will be moving when, where Mishu was. That's really great. And these 600 jobs that will be coming to this city with the windmill, mm -hmm. that's the most positive thing I think I've heard in the last 20 years that I've been living back home in New Orleans. Wow. Dr. Beverly Wright, thank you so much for your thank work you. and for taking this time to talk to us.